What's up, everybody? Friends and well-wishers. Uh, it looks like we actually get to use some of these damn tickets for something. For something? Seriously? Damn, look at all them yellows. <laughs> damn, look at all them yellows. We could not squeeze out one red. Now, I, I'm just throwing all mine because I've never, ever had anything else to throw them at. So, uh... Actually, I should probably look at this and see if I can actually get anything new here. Uh, it does say <clears throat> Meredith's in here. Of course, it's not going to be any sort of rate up. It does say she's in here, though, I think. Unless they're tricking me and it's the old one. She's at the very top of the list, though. So it would be cool if anybody could get her off of just using regular normal tickets. Eh? Yeah, you never know. Yep, not this time. We needed to do a little dance for us. You know, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm just glad I could throw these, I'm just glad I could throw these damn tickets at something. <clears throat> Even if I can't get her from here, let me just pretend. Let me just pretend that this can actually yield something new to me. Oh man, I'm psyched already. That's why I didn't look in, into it too much. <laughs> I didn't want my feelings crushed, like with this ten pull. Oh, once more, looks like we got a few of these tickets. It's been sitting around collecting dust. I feel a red. We have the girlfriend there. Let's see. Let's start with the blue. Both girlfriends. That's a good sign. Boop. Both girlfriends. Flashbacks. On the beach. No? Damn. That date did not go so well. Half and half, blue and yellow. Oh, we got one more. We got one more chance. Uh, now, this time we're with the homies. Slash homie. Just the homie. That's it. Just you and the homie. Oh. No. Six yellows, four blues. Damn. Well, if only I had some more tickets to throw. Oh, wait. I think I probably do. Let's actually look at the probability here. It does say Inventive Queen Meredith. Is that the new unit? Inventive Queen Meredy. Yeah, uh. Why not? Okay, we're going for the full Monte. We have eight very tiny, insignificant chances of pulling her. I just used red tickets. How are we going to start on a blue? That should start red all day. Mm. I got a feeling it's going to turn. Oh, boy. Oh, snap. I do love seeing that. Anything? Oh, really? Really? The last one. <laughs> the very last one. Hey, that's dope because I was not going to pull on this banner. And I was not going to be able to review her, but... Holy shit, look at this girl. She went full on Power Rangers? I mean, I gotta give them props. The suit looks dope AF, right? She looks pretty killer here. She looks pretty killer. What is that little... Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's like an energy field. I was like, what is that floating across her butt cheek? Is that like some kind of tattoo that moves... Who knows what these Blaze Garden chicks? They could have tramp stamps that actually move. <laughs> Magical tattoos. Okay, cool. We have the. Cool. All right. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I. Nom 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 nom. I'm actually eating my words today. Wow. This. This shit never happens. Um. <laughs> now it's not gonna want to load and give me the new hero. <laughs> 
Um, wow, this this never happens. I've never been able to use these tickets to get anything, anything even remotely new at all. Is there a new arc on here? Unit, unit, unit. Arc. Uh, Durandal Reborn? That looks... Alright, let's see what arc is on her. Durbin Reborn. Okay, I just, we got no choice here, folks. Can we can we double down on that? <laughs> now that would be cool. The good thing I didn't try to use these uh these tickets before as uh ether fodder. <laughs> like all right. Uh pretty cool just to, you know, pull the new hero to run so we will be able to run her and actually see what she's all about. No little dance. Oh, are you... Okay, okay. I, I was about to say, like, damn. Lightning strikes twice. We double tap, baby. I'm not really worried about the arc. Oh, here's a hammer for someone to use. I'm not really worried about the arc. We will get it later. It will drop. Um, Would have been cool just to snatch it up here. Uh, I'll take the character any day over the arc, though, because it gives us something new to run and look at. So, uh... My suggestion is you do this before you do any uh, Inventive Queen Merity pulls. So, uh, just the best advice I can give. Gotcha details. I wanted to actually look at her arc. Recommended. Let's see what I'm missing right now. Each wave gradually cut damage taken. When affected by a status ailment, nullify flinch from regular attacks, cons continuous protection effect. That's actually not that bad. That's pretty damn nifty right there. You're going to get up to 25% damage reduction, and it's giving you some status ailment protection. And nullify flinch, that that can actually be a pretty big deal. Let's see what we got here. We got auto four high protection machine geyser. Machine geyser is on here, so this is cool for a mage. Defense down evasion chance to nullify defense down debuffs inflicted by enemies' active skills. That could be super useful too. And illness resist. Cool. Oh, and resolve up defense at minus plus three. All in all, not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's look at this. Let's look at this girl scout though. Damn. Long range fire combo attack. Front medium range ice attack followed by a charge into medium area combo attack with a chance to give a speed cut debuff. Cool. She will, I don't know, smash your feet with a hammer so you can't move as much. The S3 is full attack mode. Jump forward for a wide area thunder combo attack. Cool. So she's looking like she's hitting all elements. And then meteor strike is a powerful light combo attack. To all enemies, damage cap five thousand. Um, it would be cool if they actually, <laughs> if they did something where like this girl and Alice had a play date. You know, Alice being a cyborg and all. And of course, Merity is like, oh snap, I could build a suit just like you. Let's see, we have powered gear. When hitting an attribute weakness, damage plus fifty percent. Nice damage cap plus five k. When attacking with skills, cut enemies' attribute resistance and then deal damage. Uh, for each repeat of the skill, cut attribute resistance more. Wow, max minus 15% each wave. So, okay, so for every element that she's using in her kit, and she has like four elements, it, if you're spamming that ability over and over again, each time she does it, your resistance to that element drops up to minus 15. That is pretty damn cool. If you want to break a boss's fire resist down to minus 15... You just go in there and you drop her S1 a few times and that's going to cut the boss's uh, fire resistance because it's a fire ability uh, up to a maximum of minus 15. If I'm reading that right, I think that's how it works. That's pretty damn awesome considering that she also has an, an amazing damage plus 50% built in. 
uh, with an attribute weakness. So all she has to do is find whatever you're weak against and start spamming that one. And since she has four elements, she's like working with only one of them at a time, but she's going to have a nice plus 50% damage cap and uh, damage and 5,000 to the damage cap. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Uh, and then we have built-in golem core. Because, of course, this suit wouldn't be complete without a built-in golem core. Abilities must be... Wait, wait, what is... Am I reading for... Yeah, okay. Abilities must be set to use skills. Based on which skills are used, nullify flinch. Cut magic attack damage from an element, 20%. Skill 1, earth. Skill 2, fire. Skill 3, ice. Boost skill damage based on number of unusable skills one skill 50 percent two skill 200 percent you know what <laughs> i'm not even gonna try to get into this bullshit <laughs> i don't know what the hell they're trying to talk about here i mean i i i kind of do but i don't want to i don't want to even try <laughs> my hand at explaining this shit and uh, uh, there might be a language barrier here, folks. I don't know. This, this is, uh, sounds cool. Sounds cool. It, it sounds like based on the number of unusable skills. You know what? We're, you guys are just going to have to watch Buddha Fish's vid or something like that. Maybe he can explain that better because I, I, I tell you what, after I run her and actually maybe see what she's all about, then maybe I can try to explain that. <laughs> right? She is, however, weak to stun. That's kind of a big one, right? She's got 30, minus 30 to uh, lightning resistance. She has plus 10 to fire, ice, earth. Obviously, she just does not want to get shocked. Yo, her hit points look on point too, by the way. 7k HP. She looks pretty damn good. Uh, she has a defense that's higher than her strength. That's interesting. And, and, and mind are both at like... 935 for mine, 964 int, but look at this defense, yo, 1455 defense and the hit points, she's going to be staying alive in that badass suit, man, great posing, I would let her shoot me with that any day, <laughs> like, okay, so cool, the queen of invention is here, I'll have to to see how many gems I have to actually run her. I wasn't planning on getting any hero right now. I was just going to work on Levi. <laughs> but, hey, if this girl just falls into your lap, you're going to play with her. You know what I mean? I mean, just look at her. Damn, she's even got the little bunny ears. Cool. The new little snow bunny and fleece. Got me a new side piece. She's even got little drones. Yeah, she looks killer. Best of luck to everybody. Please use your head. Use them damn tickets first. Um, damn, I, I did not come in here to, to, to make a, a vid on her. I just kind of saw they were doing this and was like, oh, it's time to actually eat my own words about them not giving us anything to do with these tickets. Thank you, Atis. This was cool. It's good to know that you're actually listening to us with a half-deaf ear, but you're still listening. Thank you. I'll take this all day. This is awesome. This is very cool. Actually, let me use my tickets on something, and now we start saving again. We do have this Valentine's Valentine's banner up. That's right. I better get a hold of the old lady today. Valentine's. That shit's creeping up on us. Uh, unit exchange ticket on lab two, step five. So you can exchange for one of these lovely ladies. Um, yeah, they're all strong heroes. All three of these girls are... Uh, Luke Hill was just absolutely dumping on the Titan fight that we just had because she can freeze time and just spam out a ton of damage. Uh, Elise here throws some of the best fire magic in the game. And of course, last but not least, Alice. Alice, Alice. Alice is a effing monster. She definitely helped in the Titan fight as well. Um, she can move around a lot. She has like a freeze cannon to shoot with. Uh, I don't know. Strong heroes. They're up on this banner. And then of course we have uh, the Invention Queen Merity, right? Here's her banner. I'm actually going to have to see what paid items they gave her 
and how limited she is. Are those items ever going to end up in, in the uh, Crimson Shop? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know right now. So, happy news. Happy for everybody because everybody has these damn tickets. Oh, damn. We got a ticket. We got a ticket. That's it. That's our arc right there. I, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Uh, so, yeah, uh, happy day. I guess we should be thanking Adis for Valentine's Day. Or, you know, we would just have a ton of those tickets still sitting there. So, I don't know. That was dope. I'm pretty happy about it. Thank you, Adis. That was cool. Do more stuff like that, please. And I will see you all on the flip side. Best of luck to everybody with your ticket endeavors. I hope you watch this vid before you waste any paid polls. Later, everybody.